The heart, when I was in medical school, was a sacred organ. You could operate on the stomach, uh, the lungs, uh, the intestine, uh, the joints, or the muscles, or whatever, but not the heart. The heart was too complex, to, you know, too essential. And uh, here we were doing it. Uh, Fifty years ago, cardiac surgery was a still pretty uncommon event. Uh, and so for Maine Medical Center to start a program 50 years ago was quite remarkable. Emerson Drake was a surgeon, and in the early 50s, he did closed cardiac procedures. He did uh, operations on the great vessels and operations where he didn't open the heart and enter the heart. But he had a vision for uh, beginning an open heart program here. For a patient to have heart surgery, they'd have to go out of the state before this program was opened, and that was uh, challenging for patients. They'd have to leave their homes. They would go to centers that often had long waiting lists. So long that sometimes people's lives were really endangered, so that was one of the, one of the elements about getting this program going. We were fairly early in the, in the open heart surgery game, but we were ready because we had the basics. We had the experience in, in closed heart surgery and in post-operative care and in catheterization. So we we're ready to take the next step. The first open heart surgery in the world was done in 1953. This was uh, quite an extraordinary feat to uh, perform open heart surgery in 1959. We were holding our breath with every one of these. You know, this was opening, this operating on the heart. All I can think of is that I didn't know enough to be scared, because now I think I would be terrified. I was born with this, he said, apparently this valve that, I think at the time you folks told me it was open the size of the head of a pin, and you opened it to the size of a nickel. I remember saying to myself, he's an awful young man to do whatever he's got to do to me. <laughs> but you did an excellent job. All I did was <laughs> just run a pump. Well, that was pretty important. I kept breathing, I guess. I just turned 74 a few months ago, so it added 50 plus years to my life that I might not have had. Why, I, sh I had two children, I shoveled snow, I swept floors, washed floors, I did anything that you would normally do that I had never ever in my life been able to do for the first 25 or six years. One of the remarkable things about the Maine Medical Center and the results here is the early results here were outstanding and actually better than some of the academic institutions where some of these things were worked out. I, I got to admit that uh, that the people deserve a little pride, feel a little pride for that whole thing over the years. It, it, it really has, uh, you know, yeah, M started it back in the late 50s into the 60s. There was a little bit of lull until we got a whole bunch of new equipment and, and some a new surgical team. And it just took off until they're doing just absolutely amazing things today. And, and uh, you know, everything's got to start somewhere. And it was sure a lot of fun being in the beginning of it. Prior to my coming here in 1962, Dr. Hebert did the first uh, valve replacement, which was a big, big step at that time. And uh, then a year after my arrival, in March of 72, we did the first coronary operation. We did cardiac surgery two days a week, and gradually through the years, it increased to being done every day of the week. The more we did, the better we got, the quicker we got, 1987, we started the Northern New England Cardiovascular Disease Study Group. Which uh, gathered information, data, on all surgical procedures and analyzed them uh, in terms of outcomes. That has been a real boon to the health, uh, of, to determine quality of care and to um, develop uh, clinical protocols and standards and help us review what our outcomes are. And we were the first 
program in the country to be a non-transplant hospital, meaning a program that didn't have a transplant program to implant left ventricular assist devices. When I was admitted here to Maine Med uh, that Saturday afternoon, I was given maybe a 5% chance of survival. They came back to my wife and said, here's the, the lowdown, we've got one more chance uh, to save your husband. And um, it's called a left ventricular assist device, which is a uh, internally mounted titanium device that is uh, implanted in, in me. Uh, and it keeps my left side of my heart functioning and keeps me alive. And um, here I am a year later and not only surviving, but uh, th thriving and waiting patiently for a heart transplant. There's nothing like the, the care that you get here at Maymed. I tell you, boy, it isn't a day that goes by that I don't thank God for Maymed and uh, the cardiac program. I just I'm very proud of what it what it's become. I was told the other day that I think I think the total number of open hearts that had been done in this hospital, and mostly since I left, is something like thirty thousand. I think the overall view of the program, if we look at our mission and vision statement today, is to be a leading provider of cardiovascular care in the nation. That's really true of what the founders of the program you know, trying to bring uh, cutting-edge care to the patients of Maine. Um, we're still at it today, 50 years later. It's important to understand that cardiac surgery has been successful here at Maine Medical Center, I believe, because of the people that have been dedicated to making it successful. It's a team sport, cardiac surgery. You can't just show up and do it. You need to have a lot, a lot of people to do it and everybody who comes here in our team is really interested in figuring out ways to do our job better. I didn't feel that I did anything extraordinary, but I think it's everybody doing their thing that makes it extraordinary. Well, we're gonna make a difference and you know, making a difference as a team. We're allowing, you know, a family member to go home to, you know, children, to grandchildren, to siblings, husbands, wives we're giving them a chance. This was something that truly is. You have somebody's life in your hands. We all stand on the shoulders of the guys like Dr. Drake and Dr. Hebert and Lutz and White and Morton, the people who came before us.